Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a tag. I was tagged by Megan Markham. I was tagged to do the Not a Booktube Newbie tag, which I feel like I am a newbie. Maybe I qualify for this tag. Who knows? I'm gonna do it anyway. Thank you, Megan, for tagging me in it. So let's just, let's get to question one. So question one, how old is your channel? And I started in November of 2016, so about four months. And I don't know what I did before booktube. It just feels weird to think about of the many years that I wanted to start a YouTube channel to now it's been four months since I have and it's really enriched my life. How cheesy does that sound? But it's added a lot to my life and I'm so happy that I did. So number two, what are your favorite videos to make? I like making a lot of videos. The unboxing videos are so fun because it feels like Christmas to me. Uh, book hauls are always very fun because I feel like we condone each other's spending habits and saying, it's okay, it was an amazing book haul. We um, definitely have a problem. But book hauls are very fun to watch. And then wrap ups I love as well because I love getting little snippets of reviews. And tags are also very fun. Everyone answers the questions differently and it's very fun to watch tags as well. Number three, what is one piece of advice you would give to someone wanting to join booktube? I feel like everyone says it, but just do it. I, I dreamt of having my own, and I and gaining the strength, and what would people think, and all these different things. So for two years I didn't, and then I just did it one day, and I'm so happy that I did. I want you to feel that way too, just do it. You don't need a whole lot. You can use your phone, a tripod, it doesn't cost that much to just start it, just do it. I think for years I would think of excuses, thinking, oh, I don't have a camera. What would people think? I couldn't possibly bring something new to the table. I had all these things holding me back and excuses and just doing it. Just do it. It doesn't cost anything. Just do it. Like Nike. Four, since joining, have you run into any unforeseen challenges? I am the kind of person that is very impulsive and when I start something, I like to go all in. So I... I made a pact to myself that when I started this YouTube channel that I would not spend tons and tons of money. Like buying a new camera, buying a lighting kit, buying all of these books, buy, you know, I wanted, the biggest challenge was just convincing myself that I did not need to spend tons of money to start this channel. And I recommend that for you too. Cause I was worried I'd start this gung-ho, buy a camera, buy all this nice lighting and then be bored of it or stop because that's who I am. But. Thankfully, I still really like it. I feel like I'm at this point where I feel like, you know, investing in a camera is a good idea because I can see that this is something that I would like to continue. So, you know, not spending too much on the forefront and then not, this may come across as, but just to not take it so seriously. I already have a job. I don't need another job. I don't want another job. I wanted this to be something for me and I didn't tell a whole lot of people it's for me and to meet you guys and become a part of this community. Keep this as a hobby, don't take it too seriously. And if it's something that turns into where you're getting some job opportunities, that's amazing. But I wanted to keep this light and fun and not take it so seriously and not feel like I had to read so many books in a month for me to be a viable source on booktube or to be really strict on my filming schedule. I just did not, I don't want it to be so serious where it's becoming a second job to me or a chore. So definitely, you know, keeping it a hobby and then lighting is always really tricky too. Of course, we'd all love to have an amazing lighting kit, but you know, in front of my window, you know, you get a few dots here and there, but it just, it doesn't matter. Those were kind of the challenges, if you will. Of course, we all question whether our voice is something unique and you need to let that go because just you as a person, I mean, everybody interprets books differently and everyone talks differently and has a different sense of humor. So you can bring something new to the table by repeating and reading the same books as everybody else. You might just have a different voice on it. So number five, what is your favorite book or series that you've read because of booktube? And I've been really happy that I've been introduced to Daphne du Maurier. She wrote Rebecca, Jamaica Inn, My Cousin Rachel, which they're making a movie with Rachel Weiss, Rachel Weiss, Rachel Weiss. Very excited about that. So I'm definitely gonna read My Cousin Rachel, but she is becoming one of those classic, classic people to me, like Charlotte Bronte, Jane Austen, and Daphne du Maurier are up there for me of female voices that I just love. So happy I was introduced to Daphne du Maurier. If you haven't read them, go for it. Rebecca is, is amazing. 
Technically, it's the only Daphne du Maurier that I've read. So this verdict may still be out, but I definitely want to read Jamaica Ann and my cousin Rachel and anything else that she's written. Number six. Overall, what is your favorite aspect of booktube? The people, all of the friends that I've met, talking books with people, talking new releases, because normal people don't read as much as we do or talk about books as much as we do, so it's a place that I can come and I can really geek out over books. And all the support, very little hate comments. It's all love and support, and that's why I love booktube. It's just the people. I love meeting everyone and becoming friends with all these new people. It's, like I said earlier, it has enriched my life. Number seven, want to spread the booktube love? Newbie shout out. Lena's Library is a channel that I've really loved recently. And I know that she's a noob, so I'm definitely gonna shout her out. Please go check her out. She's awesome. I definitely need to get better at looking at newbie tags and seeing some more newbies. I just like things to happen organically. I really enjoy her videos and she's made me want to get into Neil Gaiman so badly because I have not read any Gaiman. So what am I doing with my life? And number eight, who do you tag? And I tag anyone who wants to do this. I know a lot of people that I know that have already done this. So I, it sounds like a lot of effort to go and find the people who haven't done this yet. So please just do it if you want to do it and leave it down in the comments down below that you did it so I can go check it out. I would love to check out your videos. I still feel like a booktube newbie, but it's still, I'm just so happy that I started it and I've met everyone and I'm a part of this community. I really enjoy it. So that's that tag and also side note i'm wanting to branch out into different book subscription boxes so please in the comment down below let me know which is your favorite because i'd like to try out different ones every month and try to find my dream subscription box because i love subscription boxes it feels like christmas when i find a box on my front doorstep that's all i will ask of you guys is please put your favorite aspect of booktube and or your favorite subscription box down below but I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos and I'll see you in the next one. To do the not, what is it? To do the not a book tag, not a book tag newbie but tube. I don't know. To do they not, to do, to do, I can't say this for the life. Not a book tube newbie tag.